Okay, so apparently the title screen is okay now for some reason. All right. Hey guys, this is Maya here, and welcome to part two of our let's play on Hive Swapped Act One. Let's go. Okay, so time to go out. Looks like the coast is clear for now. All right. Better hurry over to the hall closet to retrieve your weapon before that crafty old serpent you mean snake can get the drop on you. Alright, so where is the closet? Let's explore it again. Okay. It's a globe light sculpture with an arrow that conveniently alerts you to the location of the ceiling. Ah! That's... so that's where it is. Thank you, globe light sculpture. Thank you. Let's spin it. Hey, look at that. You give it a tap. Wow, look at it go! Well, that was stimulating. Nice. This looks interesting. It's your mother's jewelry box. A priceless heirloom of immeasurable sentimental value. Also, there appears to be some of your brother's empty cans of Pringles. Alright then. Hmm, what's this? Okay. <laughs> um... Jude insisted the terrified horse was being abducted, so your counter-argument completely schooled him. <laughs> this painting now commemorates your triumph and particularly spectacular equine nativity. Huh. Interesting. Fuck. Right. <laughs> Wrong button. What is this? This thing's always giving you creeps. But that didn't stop you from patching up after Jude accidentally ripped it with an experiment experimental foamless dart. It's, oh, foam, it's just that it's just a dart then. What? From the first and last dart gun war with Jude, Balina here provides great cover for those who refuse to use firearms, namely you. You try to distract him with your tap dancing. And strike, like, and and then stick a dark dart on him. It didn't work at all. Tap dance and damn. All right, so let's see. This. this gun can shoot a stream of water up to 50 feet away. Too bad you don't use guns. Are you? Well, I am flashlight kind, I guess. You don't use guns, obviously. I can't use guns. I can't use flashlights. Apparently. What's this? Oh, okay. This lady was just hanging out with her, like, in her all together, which you mean, who are you to judge? Except it made you slightly uncomfortable, so you church, you churched her up a bit. You feel kind of silly about it now, but whatever. You were like, eight. Well, it does look cool though, so yeah, there's that. I'll give it that. Alright. Uh, so, to the... Right there. Alright. Oh, it's a centipede thing. Just like the one that tried to kill us earlier. It's just a bunch of old stuff. It should be moved to the attic. There's some toys here too that you don't play with that much anymore. Basically a pile of useless trash. No, right, man. I mean, I also have some things that I don't use anymore. Oh, wait, someone's calling. Didn't notice that until now. So, should I get my old weapon from the hall closet and then head up to the attic, right? Affirmative! Also, afraid from excess chatter, over! Oh, right, yeah, bye! Gotta learn monsters, over! Yeah, I got it, I'm going, bye! Can't be too careful in espion espionage, shame, Joey! Silence, Golden, over! Shut up, Jude, shut up! <laughs> Remember one time on Shady Session? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't keep my trap shut. Oh boy, really landed us, uh, landed us in a pickle over. You've never had any training. I'm turning on the walkie-talkie. Bye. Over and click again. So first things first. Jude is overly, and I do mean overly, chatty. The hallway seems spookier from this side. It does, frankly. You feel a little bit spookier yourself, just basking in its spooky aura. Look at that smile. Smile of a spook. Yeah. Okay. I think this is the only way to go. 
you got the Stoy Caterpillar so you can learn how to cure caterpillar diseases. But it turns out plush caterpillars don't get sick. Still pretty cute though. It does. It is. Let's befriend it. The caterpillar can't help you, and you can't help the caterpillar. Not a productive friendship, but at least nobody's being taken advantage of. Yes. You know what? Advice, you know, solid advice here. It doesn't matter what kind of friendship you have. If it's abusive, please stop. You know, PSA. Abusive abusive friendships. And I do mean like quote unquote friendships. Are not friendships at all. Yeah. Just word of advice. Do not. Just leave. It's better to just kind of lose that one friend that always hurts you. Find another one some other place. Than to have him forever. And you just kind of lose yourself. Is this a spring? You load to touch it and disturb whatever astronomically improbable equilibrium is at play. Best just to leave it be. Yeah, I mean, it's literally just there. I mean, you should be going over there and there. Like, how? How does it stay like that? I don't know. Alright, so. What is this? A bunch of stuff that should be. Okay, it's the same thing. Okay. Pretty sure there's a reference here or something. Buckets. Oh, I'm triggered. Fucking buckets, man. On the rare occasions he is home, Pa can be heard bumping around up, uh, up here while attending to his horde of stupid antique trash. Your priceless artifacts, you mean? <laughs> no, no, you don't. Oh shit. Right, let's go. It's locked, but you need to get in there as soon as you can. Peer through the keyhole. I wonder what's on the other side. Oh. <gasps> Oh my, oh, there's a gun. There's several helmets as well. Is that a blunderbuss with a... Wait, it's a blunderbuss with a, with a sniper scope. Wait a minute, is this Jake's house? No way. Oh, if you don't know, Jake is a character and I'm stuck. Yeah. Weird, oh shit, my friend's up. Weird. What the heck was that thing? And how long has it been there? Hey, the other door is locked. Cripes, forgot about that! Tactical blunder on my part! Over. That's fine. No big deal, just left the safety key, like, safety of the room to be eaten by monsters in the hallway. You know, because my dorky brother sent me to the safety of the wrong side of a locked door. It's not fine! Over. Jude! Panic not necessary! Extreme danger possible! Whoever should acquire a weapon all at all haste! Will relay key whereabouts upon weapon retrieval. Over. <sighs> fine. So it is fine. Over. Bye. God damn it, Jude. Over and out. God damn it. Jude's fucking ass. Alright. Let's go to the other side. Let's find my. Let's find my damn. Closet, right? So should I. Oh, there you go. I thought that was the. I thought that was the closet. This is probably Jude's place. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, I get it. I see the far end now. Okay. What is this? Your light bright. Hours of fun. With the number of hours and the degree of fun dependent on the power of your imagination. Which, in your case, means many hours and a lot of fun. Nice. Let's light it up. Yeah, that's lit, boy. Again. Let's see what happens next. <gasps> oh, references. I'm not gonna say that one. This lamp code's not even plugged in, but there are at least nine possible light sources in your immediate area. So maybe it got lost in the typically well illuminated, illuminated chapel. Well, yeah, I mean, there are kind of like torch places, but like there's so many lights that it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Hello, yes, dragons. You've always been creeped out by the monster in the water. It feels like the eye is following you, but only sometimes. Only sometimes. No one. That's... Alright. Lots of hugging bear. Is that right? It's the hallway closet, if memory serves. There's a box full of some old belongings of yours in there. You wonder if it has what you're looking for. Uh, hopefully. hopefully. Alright, let's open it. Alright, so... 
Oh, there's a flashlight. That box probably has the stuff you need, but you can't reach. Hmm. You wonder what your next step should be. Actually, your tap shoes might be, be the solution to this problem. If you could just get a good stop going, you might be able to tumble that box right off the shelf. Alright. Let's see what I can do. What? Search. You can't search the box while it's still up on the shelf. Alright. How do I... I don't get it. What are we supposed to do? Okay, now I figured it out. Okay, okay. But that was a good, that was a cool dance. Alright, let's search. You pick through the box and find your flashlight! And an old pair of ballet slippers. This will be handy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, hey! There's some pet treats in here, too. You keep caches of these all over. Never know when you'll need to treat a pet. You go ahead and try your flashlight. Click, click. No dice. Apparently battery problem? Battery problem? Open up. Wait, there were no batteries in here at all. Just a bunch of stupid pogs. God damn it, dude. Found my old strife weapon. Guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap, forgot about those. Please keep safe. Over. No. I'm not- I'm throwing them all away. I'm an ass. Joey, please! These are my favorites! Over! I'm not really throwing them away, you nerd. What do you take me for? Thanks! Over! <laughs> Still need to get you to the attic. Over! It's for safety, right? Well, whatever. I'm trusting you, I guess. Appreciate that! Over! Although, so far, it hasn't really paid off. Joey- Joey! Just need you to head to the trophy room! Over! Oh, gross! I hate that place! Why does he even need a special trophy room when our whole house is just his dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up on his stupid adventures? We'll find key to the attic there! Mysterious whims of absent father not relevant! <laughs> Fine. Over and out. Alright, so... I guess. Is that... Is that, their, is that their dad? Like their dad. Gotcha. This is the door to your neurotic dork brother's maximum security bedroom, quote unquote. He keeps it locked up tight because of all the silly conspiracy work he does in there. You sincerely doubt you'll be entering this room anytime soon. But really, why would you even want to? It's full of nerd sting and goober crud, not to mention it's where his pet usually lurks. You you love all enemies, but just the same, not one you'd rather let you deal with. Well, let's see if I can open it anyway. Yeah, okay. Plus, <laughs> the pet, yeah, okay. I have no idea what his pet is though. Is it this thing? I don't know. Is this like the wayward vagabond? Hopefully not. But it's all. An ant. Oh, it's lovely again. Alright, let's go. Some great portraits and photos of your mostly great family. You decide to take a closer look. Yo. Wait a minute. No, no way. No, no, no! I'm triggered! No! No way, it's Jade, Jake, Roxy, no, no way, wait, no, no way, is this, no way, okay, one of the, okay, you and Jude have a lot of fun memories with your babysitter, by now, probably more than with mom and pa combined, you'd always thought of her as some kind of cool and fun older looking kid you wanted to be. Until you got old enough to realize she's a pretty sucky role model. You wonder what her family's like, but it's probably not your place to ask. Oh, well... To Jake, my biggest fan. A. Claire. Uh, this- okay, she looks like Rose Quartz here. I am not a very big fan of Steven Universe, but I have watched it, so there's that. So, Jake. Gosh. Really, Jake? Then Roxy is. Oh. Wait, where's where's Dirk then? 
want to order this. Oh. Okay, so that take care, takes care of that. Let's go down. Okay, steak. This guy, what's he so happy about anyway? His expression probably made more sense in its original context. That is to say, whatever tomb or temple or whatever you, your PA plundered him from. from. Oh, someone's calling again. So, head to the trophy room? Affirmative, over. Got it. Over and out. Alright, there you go. Ballet shoes and a flashlight. You're going to need to add some special D cell batteries if you want this flashlight to serve any purpose other than emergency pod storage container and fairly poorly designed paperweight. Yeah. Guns. Oh, the dog. Okay. Oh my. What's happening? Well, this seems power is out. That should make the trophy room quite the adventure. Which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish you were having right now. I'll be honest, if the trophy room is like a bunch of dead animals, with like, you know, displayed as trophies, yeah, that would be creepy as hell. Well, it would seem the power is out. Classic PsyOps, over. I have no idea. If that's a reference, I have no idea what it is. What? Credit where it's due. Best way to destabilize countermeasures? Leave you in the dark. Literally. Over. That's not what it means, dude, but okay. Not literally. Exactly. See, Joey gets me. Joey gets me. Damn it. It's still, like, late afternoon. I can see fine. Should have no trouble getting to trophy room then. Over. <sighs> okay. Fine then, Mr. Mission Control. Yes, great. Over and out. Uh, well, I'm sad now. I'm a sad girl now. Alright. Is this like Jake's piano? Oh shit. Oh shit. It's like, right. Okay. So I can just kind of like put it here. Just your reliable old portable cassette player. Complete with headphones, Jude can occasionally be found using it to even further as isolate himself from reality. Salvage. I wonder what it means. Dead batteries, of course. Seems to be a running theme. <laughs> Obviously enough. It's the handheld gaming device that you... Oh shit. I just almost toppled over my... Uh, my plate. Anyway. It's the handheld gaming device that you and Jude share. He hugs it mostly, but that's alright since you got the console in your room. Uh, good for you. At least you do have the console. You have it on good authority that the batteries in this thing are A, way too small for anything you may or may not currently need batteries for, and B, dead as a bag of doornails. I mean, I guess. It could have been said that like a bag of rocks, but I guess that thing is played to death. Pause made your totem of power. The impressively clunky item controls a TV. The, gar the garage door, toaster, thermostat, and pretty much everything else of a gizmological nature. You literally cannot pick it up without using both hands. It is rather large. Let's see. You pop open the behemoth and score! You pocket the E-cell batteries right into the old cylinder. <sighs> well, that's an extra battery, but that's not the kind that I'm trying to get. Is that like a Care Bear? Okay. This bookshelf contains several of Pa's books, including pistols and pelts. Pistols to pelts. How to turn sweet, intelligent animals into weird rugs and stuff. Teach yourself taxidermy. Yeah, I guess. And safari. Stories of bold men and the animals they killed from a distance, even though they weren't hungry and they and did not intend to eat them. Is this some kind of subtle jab to sport hunting? Remember, kids, sport hunting is bad. It kills a lot of animals for no reason. If you wanted pleasure, why not try airsoft? It's the same thing, you're shooting people, but no one's actually dying. But, you know, you get that lucky shot every now and then, it hurts. A piano can be used to turn the slight mo motion of one's fingers into music. The those ivories, how they beg to be tickled. But you mustn't! Uh, you, 
Yeah, can't. Let's try. Oh, that would just be the thing, wouldn't it? Some kind of eerie, lonely sonata to really set the tone for the adventure ahead. Something in the binder key, maybe? It's a shame that you would probably provoke a bunch of monsters to eat you. Also, you can't really play the piano. Well, I can I can play the piano. I can also play the guitar and sing. But I guess I'm not really Joey then. I'm playing Azur, so those talents or skills don't matter right now. Also, this 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 fox though. This wolf fox, yeah, probably fox wolf. I don't know. Those eyes are gonna gonna Yeah. <laughs> This piece was too depressing, so you gave it a nice refinishing. Re if your pa has a problem with it, he's welcome to say so the next time he's actually around. Eh, you wonder if you'll be driving by then. To college? Where you teach because you are an adult and 20 years have passed? I'm honestly, you know, a bit more um, depressed by that. Everything is so blue, why? Boobies. The ladies in these paintings are eerily beautiful. Although maybe everyone would look like that in blue. The lamp. Goodness, you'd like to meet the lady who model for th for that someday. Yeah, I mean it looks pretty nice, right? It looks pretty nice, and that frame though. Monsters right outside. Look at that. Look at that walk animation. Woo! All right. Okay. Trophy room. Trophy, trophy room. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, there you go. Okay, here's the trophy room. Oh, okay. This sound makes you blush brighter than the lamp itself. Jake, why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You've always enjoyed this painting. Particularly because the lion looks so yeah, alive. Whoever painted it must have a very good imagination. Either that or they painted it very, very fast. I'm leaning towards the latter because I I want to believe. Is that a pony? Oh dear God. The teddy bear uh, the teddy bear outpatient clinic is for stuffed animals who require treatment, but not an overnight stay. It's not just for stuffed bears, of course. It was named for its founder, the chief physician Arsala Teddy Bear. That's a nice name, RC. Also scribbles. All right, I'm not clicking that. That's awkward. All right, oh, maybe okay. You try the knob. It turns easily, but it won't budge. Something's blocking it. Something heavy. I guess you'll come back and deal with this after you get the power back on. What? Just as you pass into the living room, pulling the door shut behind you, it shuddered as something heavy and wet slammed against it from the other side. Odd. Oh shit, I didn't read that one. Rest of the house navigatable. Over. Consider using utilizing flashlight. Over. You mean the one you filled with your pogs? That flashlight? Joey, please! Over. No use dwelling on the past. Over. It doesn't matter anyway. Something's blocking the door to the trophy room now. Something? Something? Over. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Strange. For now, I recommend focus on restoring power before sun sets completely. Over. Ah, jeez. You're right. Okay. I'll do that. Thanks for the reminder. Need electricity to revive... Uh, to, bleh, <laughs> to retrieve key anyway. Over. What? Can't discuss over unsecured channel. Over and out. God damn it. God damn it. Any hot tips for getting the power back on? Power outage seems to grant invaders significant advantage over. Yeah, that's not really a tip. Exactly. That's more like just an explanation for why I'm trying to do it. Not sure what to tell you. Circuit breaker probably in basement. Over. See? That was very helpful. Thanks. Doing my best. Over and out. Alright, to the basement then. You try the knob. Alright then. I have no idea what just happened there. But okay. Okay, now that is a My Little Pony. Alright then. 
These used to be stacked neatly on the shelves, but your big dog came clamoring through and slammed right into them. They tumbled everywhere. That was about three years ago. You aren't great horse. You got you aren't great housekeepers. I wonder where Roxy has been. Where is their babysitter? I mean, they're old now, but still. Okay, wait, what? Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, power is off. Ever such, your fax machine is basically useless. This is an unacceptable state of affairs. Also, pretty. The sound you've heard since you've entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. The awful static is like nothing you've ever heard, and you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. You turn, you turn the radio off. Hmm. The radio is clearly, although weirdly, functional. Despite not being plugged in, you might be onto something here. Uh, the batteries. Woohoo! You open the battery compartment. Okay, good. If this radio didn't need batteries to make those noises, you'd have to upgrade the spooktitude. Spooktitude? The business class spookitude. And frankly, you can't afford that. Alright, let's get the batteries. Jackpot! D cells. You can never have too many batteries. And never in too many different sizes. <laughs> Cha ching. Alright, so. This. Alright, so let's put this in our flash. I wish it was like T to the flash. There we go. Alright, light weaponry. Another electric device successfully powered through clever manipulation of resources in your immediate environment. You are on fire. With your flashlight fully functional and in fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low light environments. And also to beat the bejesus out of any of these creeps that get too close. Although that's the last resort, of course. <laughs> oh look, it's the treehouse. Nice. Oh my. There's one of those bats with arms. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You visualize all those delicious items that could be in the cool embrace of the refrigerator, but are not. That's snack. It's empty. Food shopping has been sporadic out of late. Turns out tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at responsibilities? Hmm. Who knew? Look, you are not saying you never have home cooked meals. Your babysitter is a pretty good chef, even. It's just, well, none of you like doing dishes. And the nice thing about takeout is you can just eat it right out of the, right out of the boxes. And then throw the boxes away. Of course, none of you really like taking out the trash, either. What kind of... How are, how are you still alive at this point, right? How? Is that a mummy? It's a revolutionary mummy. Yum. <laughs> this mummy is clear, currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He has been ever since your PA, or I mean PA, left him here months ago. Okay, I'm just kind of moving. Yeah, not a lot of change of you being able to move Pharaoh and Napoleon over here. Uh, well, we'll see. Maybe I can try tap dance again. Yo, you never dance with soldiers. They'll just steal your heart away and then leave on a three-year tour. Oh dear. If you run down on the battery, you have no idea where you'd get more. Better save it for when, you're, for when you really need it. Alright. <laughs> that would shake this mummy, Napoleon. Guy right out of his business aesthetic. Which would be a way to get past it. But it would make an awful mess. I guess so. Alright, let's see. Is this the basement? I think so. It is the basement. Alright, let's do this. Is that a knife? Is that a hula girl? Is that a, a life-size hula girl? Alright. I love the background music. I love the art. And more blue paintings. A souvenir for your, from your pa after this trip to Hawaii. He's been exploring the Pacific a lot lately for some reason. Or so he mentioned it offhandedly a few years ago. You assume he's still doing that due to you not having any fresher data or particularly carrying one way or another where the hell he is. Uh, well, your pa brought this home as a souvenir. There's nobody inside it. It's kind of like a metaphor, you guess. Hey, you're not sure what you want to start. 
like not sure you want to start down the road of analyzing your life as if it were a work of fiction meta it's very meta pictures more pictures Paul loves his blue lady's portrait so much he keeps redundant backups scattered around because it's okay if you ignore something supposedly precious to you as long as you're paying attention to something kind of similar in another location right you decide not to pull on that psychological thread because you have important work to do and who needs a crappy old blow on anyway? uh, apparently we really do not like our father i love the mustache your babysitter sometimes cracks into your paws special reserve and she tends to do it down here so you and you don't see you aren't really sure what to say about it or if you even have any business saying anything about it at all oh well is that no, that's just a rug. Yeah, it's probably just a rug. Also, those are chains. Like, whoa. Maybe it's because you grew up in a house where nobody really cooks. But you have no idea what to do with these cooking implements. Food! The great mystery. Yeah, well. Is that a Betty Crocker spoon? That's a probably a Betty Crocker spoon. With your pa's strange affinity towards the Betty Crocker brand ever, ever apparent, this musty junk mainly consists of all sorts of cooking implements, ranging from the familiar to the enigmatic. Really now, you can tell what a whisk is for, but some of this stuff looks downright unethical. It's also on your way! You can't reach the circuit breaker! Alright, let's move. Try to move one box and the whole pile is liable to come tumbling down on you. You need to find a way to get them all moving at once. Shake them up somehow. A controlled tumble. That's a ticket. I guess we tap dance them to death. Woo! Oh my! There goes the circuit breaker. Alright. We got the circuit breaker now. The power of tap dancing. Alright. You flip the circuit breaker and... And lights back on. Whoa, what was that? Yo, what was that? Let's go over. Oh my! Okay, it's here. Time for a fight. Time for a first fight, finally. Alright. Oh! Alright, let's go. Christ! I have no idea what to do. You've got no chance of beating this thing. You gotta get away. Step on it. Oh. What? I have no idea what to do. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Ow. Huh. Hot step and I have no idea what I'm doing. Better luck next time. Oh, maybe I can just feed it this thing. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay. Check, please. Pretty blood gone. Oh! We got it! Let's get the fuck out of here. Alright. To the trophy room. Let's step on it. Oh, Jude's calling. Power back on! You doing or, uh, you're doing or psyops of some, uh, I'm not reading that. Give you backlight only to snatch it away. Describe hypothetical, very cool, I, fuck. Dealing with sick operations, over. No, it was just me. Really, Jude? That snake monster is down in the basement, by the way. I managed to get past him, but we'll probably need to deal with that at some point. Second encounter with said serpent, correct? Beast Willy! Nobody says Beast Willy anymore. Ugh. But sister already established superior willingness. Uh, willing. N no. Hey. Like, hey, thanks. I think. Trophy room should be triple obstacle. Over. Wait, what? I had a key, Joey. Eyes on the prize. Keep me in loop. Over now. Alright. Okay, guys. So we'll be stopping there for now. We finally got the power to go to work again, and I have no idea how 
Jude knows that it'll help me get it back into the trophy room, but hopefully we'll see when we get there on the next one. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Support me on Patreon and follow me on Tumblr if you like. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye!